I'm Julia Deans and I was, um, oh no, I've forgotten. It's that again. <laughs> oh, am I? Yoda, I'm Julia Deans with my invisible band Fur Patrol and this is our trash recital. I was working in retail and doing gigs when I could, slowly making, you know, making inroads, gathering followers, taking our cassette tapes into student radio and getting them. <laughs> Getting them played. When did you start planning a reissue on, onto vinyl? Probably when we realised it was coming up 20 years. <laughs> 20 years! <laughs> yeah. Am I surprised to see you and Lydia? She's all so nice and easy to love the night, but no, I won't ruin it against her. My baby, my baby. Usually, like with anything I'm writing, it'll, it'll start with. Uh, guitar and a melody idea and I'll just make noises <laughs> and then the words will come out of the noises I don't know how it happens but it does <laughs> don't you need me anymore don't you love me anymore like <clears throat> is that enough I can actually remember writing it really clearly it literally arrived in my lap in about 15 minutes like from start to finish. It was crazy. Just sitting on the floor of my flat in Mount Vic and then the song just turned up. <laughs> Let's give this a go. Okay. How many notes are there in that place? Lots, yeah. but I'm gonna simplify it. Come on, God damn it. Okay, we recorded the whole album packed at what was Marmalade Audio in Wellington. It was such an adventure. We basically moved into the studio uh, with David Long from the Mutton Birds, was our producer. We totally bonded. It was like a little family holiday, almost. We'd be there from, you know, nine or 10 in the morning until, you know, three or four in the morning, then go home and try and get some sleep and then come back. Do you wanna uh, tell me what, what you're doing here? What, what am I doing here? I'm slowly losing my mind. Yeah, it was really beautiful. Um, and would happily go back and <laughs> revisit that. <Yeah. laughs> no, I totally pants that bit. <laughs> That's what my brain sounds like right now. Okay, let's have a go. I mean, definitely went through a phase, like especially as a band, where it just didn't fit in with our with the next albums. They were a lot more rocky, and so it kind of sat jarringly in the set. But people still wanted to hear it. We'd play it begrudgingly, but um, he's like under the radar. Water torture. We will make you talk. We will make you sing. Sing like broken bird in the rusty cage. Playing it now to have people sing along, like every single word and not every single note because some people can't get up that high. But, um, <laughs> Am I surprised to see you here with Lydia? She's old. So nice and easier to love than I, but no, I won't hold it against her. It feels like we had a connection, you know, and also it's just, it's actually really fun to sing and I'm surprised that I wrote it. It's like a really comfortable jersey, so it's really, it's nice. And easy, not easy, yeah, easy. Mm. Mommy. 